morning. No, it's not good morning. <laughs> Should we just start that over? <laughs> hey guys, good afternoon. Happy Friday. It is almost two o'clock. I was way off. So we're having like a mommy and me day. It is the last Friday before back to school. I got a Starbucks after like, I wanna say years, a really long time of not getting Starbucks because I got up at seven today to go get a drive up pickup because as prepared as we are, we were missing one thing like a pouch, like a pencil pouch. Of all the things, like we got new shoes, we got new clothes, we got new backpacks, like, do you see how pretty this backpack is? It got monogrammed. I was prepared. I didn't, I didn't have a pencil case, like of all the things. So I got up early, drive a pickup, and they're like, do you want to add a drink? Well, I mean, when you ask me that nicely and in an app, of course I do. We need to get on with our day, but it is gonna be one of those weekends. Of course it's the weekend before back to school where our entire life is set on fire because at some point, the World Baseball Classic organization that happens once a year decided to do their World Baseball Classic the weekend before school starts. We are gonna be together all weekend Dad is gonna be with little man all weekend. An hour, a little bit more than an hour away for uh, that tournament. But, did I give you your medicine this morning? The, no? Oh, uh, no. <gasps> That's why you're staying here! Oh, you guys. All right, so Mateo's actually staying with me because he had a really bad ear infection. Inner and outer ear infection. And I told his dad, I'm like, bro, are you gonna pack a cooler with ice and keep the antibiotic cold and remember every four hours to do? And I'm like, woman splaining all these things to co-parent and now I'm not doing it. Okay, so he's staying with me because we need to do medicine, but we're gonna go spend time with them tomorrow and then not on Sunday. But it's a it's a tournament that goes through Monday. So I don't know how that's gonna happen because they go back to school on Monday. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be the championship game, right? Or is there more, are there more games on Monday? Or just the championship? Oh, uh, I think it's, it's championship and maybe like the ones before, like the final four. Oh. Cause it's like best out of seven or something crazy they're doing. So he could potentially miss his first day of school? Yeah, you get, cause like some kids are choosing, oh, if we do go to a one, a one day, like I'm not gonna do it or something, they will do it. I mean, Daniel's going to school. He's, dad said we'll I'm um, that parent. Dad. Okay, so the reason that this weekend is so weird is because I'm supposed to be the great parent that remembers to administer his medication, which I've forgotten now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here because I need to give him his medicine. I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry about that brief parental interruption. I am so excited because we're going to Waxahachie tomorrow, which is like an hour, an hour and a half from us but it's just gonna be the two of us because Parker has to be here to be like Sophia's nanny. And so we're gonna pack the car with the right baseball stuff. I don't know why I spaced out like our foldable chairs. And usually I bring a 10 foot tent, but I am so tired of asking for help. Well, let me rewind. Hold on. Look at this, look at this. I, I'm not tired of asking for help. I'm tired of showing up carrying like a 60 pound tent and then dads look at me and go, do you need some help ma'am? And I'm like, okay, I get it. It's cause you know, we're in Texas and people have Southern values and are very polite and, and I love that they offer to help. But first of all, I don't need no man. I can do it by myself. Just kidding, I really love help. And uh, it just, I don't know, it makes me a little embarrassed. I think if I was 21, I would be like, yeah, help me. But now I'm like, I don't, wanna, I don't want your help. It makes me embarrassed. I feel like I'm aging in reverse. I'm turning into a child. So I don't know. I just want to ask for help. So I got this. And I got this because that way I only have to share my umbrella with me and someone else. As opposed to a 10-foot umbrella that I sit under by myself because nobody wants to sit with me. And then I look like a... 
I don't know what I look like, but it's not my favorite. So I got this and I want to show it to you. Let me put you here. Hold on. You ready to open it? It's already oh. open! You saw that, right? What? Is it open? Is there a spider? You just saved my life. No. I don't need no man. Why is it red and green? It's from the blood from its enemies. Maybe you killed a ladybug. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> okay. My brain wanted to get a navy blue one. But y'all know what my heart wanted to get. We went with my heart. The whole selling point of this is that it is designed to block out the harmful rays of the sun. Like it's a specific umbrella for sun protection that fits in a tiny little carrying case. Ooh, yeah. So most people buy it for like uh, laying by the pool or like a portable tournament umbrella. I haven't seen any of the parents use a wonder shade at the tournaments. Have you ever seen a wonder shade? Nope. I've never seen a wonder shade at a tournament. But everyone says it's awesome. It's super easy to assemble. And um, I think it was 50 bucks. Plus it's rainbow, so there's that. Do you want the instructions? Oh. I don't think that looks small, but like people have like this tiny little, actually here, let me show you. Look at this, right there. He's like, look at me. It's, I guess the size of like a foldable chair. And then um, here, here's the name, Wonder Shade. And then look. 98% UV block. I'm not really concerned about the UV block. Okay, maybe I'm a little concerned, but I just buffered for a second. I think for me, it's more of like a, I don't want to die because it's been 105 for the last several days. We are on heat advisory and air quality alert. And we need to be there outdoors from like 7 a.m. to maybe 7 p.m., I would think, because there's two games. So we're going to see. Oh, you're missing the, all the action. Look, my little, my junior husband. Are you doing it right? You know what you're doing? <laughs> you saw nothing. What happened? Thank you. That is the kind of support I need in my life. I was talking to Parker this morning and I was like, hey, babe, if we, oh, does this count as bad luck? It's not the same kind of umbrella, right? Whoa, whoa! What the? Is it wondrous? Yeah. Maybe, can you do it? Did you do it? Yeah. That's real pretty. Oh man, I love it. I was talking to Parker this morning and I was like, if you were a gambling man, would you put hard money on betting that the living room rug and the front living room, like the little tiny living room in the front rug are the same size? And he's like, oh, absolutely. They're the same size. Would you? What, that one and this one? Uh-huh. No. What, what do you think? Oh. Uh. Well, you can't look. You're a bet. You're betting. This is a bet. What would you think? That one. What about that one? It's bigger. That one? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's a neuro spicy thing because to me, this one that we're on, let me show you what I'm talking about. This rug that we are, to me, this navy blue rug is like astronomically bigger than <laughs> this rug. Like, but maybe it's an illusion because this room is smaller and this is like the entire rest of the house. But to me, I, if I would, I would easily bet, I'd be like, yes, I'll bet my son Mateo that this rug is bigger, but they are exactly the same size. So that was our morning conversation. And I was like, can you speak to me like someone you love? Because I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. He was like, yeah, they're, pr they're the same size. And now he's thinking the opposite. I'm thinking this one's bigger. He's thinking that one's bigger. Maybe it's a shag illusion. 
You're missing a pivotal part, aren't you? No, there's a button for the tilt feature. There's a button for a tilt feature? I'm gonna need you to stop with the dad posing. Like, oh, okay. you can't pose like a dad until you're at least 16. All right. It's part of life. <laughs> Although Parker would be really proud. We are about to test if this umbrella will break up our family. Ready? Look how pretty. What does this remind you guys of? There's only one guess. No? You're too young to know. Okay. It's the penguin on Batman. That's oh, the answer. Yes, I... He spins his umbrella. That's his, that's his trick. Is this wrong? Is this right? All right. So what do we think? It's cute, right? Look at that. And it's supposed to be so that you can have a chair on either side. I just was too lazy to grab the second chair. So another chair would go here and you can actually tilt the umbrella. So like if the sun is setting or rising or whatever, you can provide shade or you can just do it straight up and down. But look how pretty it is. It's like rainbow, but so just happy. It looks like a giant beach ball. We finally figured out what this was for. It's in case you want to turn the umbrella, like it's just like a convenient little stick. And then it has uh, two cup holders, which collapse so you can put them away in the bag. And then two hooks for your purse or your tote bag or whatever. Look how wide the legs are too. If you have a really wide umbrella, but the base is really narrow, the umbrella is gonna topple over. But the legs are far enough apart where even if it's windy, you can put your chair on either side and you're gonna be good. It also comes with stakes. So if you're sitting in the grass and the option to remove the tripod and the bottom has sort of like a corkscrew so you can stick it in the sand. So if you're going to like the beach for vacation or whatever, you can use it and like kind of corkscrew it into the ground. But so cute. They do have normal colors obviously, like the reds, the navy blues, the royal blues, green, yellow, but more is more. So we have a sort of up in the air day today. I got some work done. It's two o'clock. I'm going to make dinner, but we do have to get up early tomorrow morning and like pack the wagon, snacks, water bottles, jugs, all the extra stuff, because we're going to be so far that so far and for so long that we just need to have everything we need just in case. Do you want to change your shorts because you got super sweaty? Probably an extra pair of shorts. You're wearing sneakers and your feet got hot, maybe bring some slides. You know, just a maybe of everything. I'd rather load up the car with a bunch of crap we don't end up using than to be there and just not be comfortable. So that's what our afternoon looks like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Come here. You want to come inside? Want to say hi to your friends? Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the beach? Go to beach in your chair. Okay, why do you look like a natural? Why do you look like this setup is for you? Look at that face. Hey, are you happy? <laughs> is that a smirk? Do you like it? Do you want to go to the tournament? I think she's pretending because she wants to go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, this is cozy. It could work. Sophia. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Renata, voltea a verme. Ay, que niña tan bonita. Anyway, that's the update. So from me and my umbrella and my macaroni and cheese and my Sofia Renata, we say, catch you later. Alligator, no, I just, I'm sorry. What happens when you put two really neuro spicy people in the same room together, even though they have work to do? Like there's only, there's only one right answer. I was telling Parker, I'm like, I have zero motivation to get any work done. <laughs> I have zero motivation to get any work done. I was like, because it's just me and Mateo. When it's just the two of us, it's like the transformer megalobot of neuro not goodness. I mean, we, we're creative and we can do a lot of great stuff, but the stuff that we need to do, have you guys seen that rail that's like, oh, a hole in the wall? Hmm, I'm a contractor. Oh, you got a, a tear in your pants? I'm a seamstress. You got a whatever? I'm a coach. And then it's like folding the laundry. No, I can't do that right now. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is, 
This is who we are, and this is our order, in case you're wondering. I find those Starbucks orders, like those reels, like this is my current Starbucks order. It's weird. Is anyone else with me? Is this just like the angry millennial in me that's like, don't nobody care, Susan? Okay, fine. I'll stop saying Susan. I'll say Lupe. Like, nobody, but why does it have like 500,000 views? This is my current Starbucks drink. Take a screenshot. I'm like, I don't want to know your current Starbucks drink. Also, do you have it? And then it tastes gross. I don't. You know, you know what I want to know? I want to know, like, if your dog got a new car seat. Or I want to know if your dog learned a new trick. Or I want to know what your order at Taco Bell is. <laughs> that makes sense. Look at... This is Sophia after a car ride. She's like, yeah, dude! This is happy Sophia, by the way. <laughs> Sophia Renata! Mama, recuerdo de mi vida! Mama, recuerdo de mi vida! Mamo perfecto! Yeah, most of them were big too. Yeah. Saturday. It's about seven o'clock. This is the face of a mom that is really tired. Oh my gosh. So Parker got called in at four this morning. So I've been up since then, but I didn't actually pretend to be like fully awake until five. Oh my gosh. Lord have mercy. I am tired. I hate that my eyes, it's like, you know how your face, my face is a billboard. So like, I'm sorry for what my, my face does out loud, but my eyes are like the gauge of how tired I am, and you know immediately. Okay, couple of things. It's seven o'clock, we're heading out the door. We're about to drive for an hour. I have to figure out how to get coffee somewhere. I don't know if this is a good decision though, because like I had coffee yesterday and I was like, oh, there is my hard tech again. Look at this one. But I wanted to show you guys an outfit of the day. I wanted to show you guys my hat. Oh, my friend Amanda has a shop. I've showed you guys the hats that I get from her in the past. You know, we'll talk about it later, but I had some comments. It says cute but psycho and it has like those little um, chenille patches on it. It's like hot pink, it's so cute. But the amount of comments that I've gotten about that hat where it's like, you shouldn't make fun of like people that have, I'm like, yeah, hats on my head, you know? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Anyway, so I want to show you guys an outfit of the day. We're heading out the door, we're driving for an hour. This is my recap. I got the umbrella in the car, got my boy, uh, got my dog, I fed her breakfast. Uh, Parker got called out, but he's he's supposed to be on Sophia duty. I hope he doesn't have one of those days where he's basically just gone all day because it's like, <laughs> I was trying to think of the nice way to say it. You gotta, you gotta learn to process. But it's true. If you're, yeah, I know, but when you're neuro spicy, you gotta learn to behave. Yeah. Ah, shh. Yeah. You gotta learn how to act like other people in society. You can be unique, you can be creative, you can be cool, you but you can't be offensive. You can say the same thing without being offensive. On a lie. This is my hat. Look at this. I don't know why I put it on with like just a beaver hair, but. How cute is my hat? Look, so normally she does the hat where she customizes it, has one little heart and like your son's number on it. But I was like, I need two numbers. Can you put two numbers on it? She's like, no, but I can put two hearts. I'm like, yes, mm-hmm. Look how pretty that is. And I love that it's the trucker style. So let me, let me do this properly. I love that it's the trucker style because it can kind of go over your ears a little bit so it doesn't have to, you don't have to like crease, crease your hair. You know how some hats, they go over your ears so you can't really leave your hair down or if you're fine haired like me, it's gonna do the, the dent. This one doesn't, so it has a nice wider, plus it blocks more sun, but this is unrelated. I asked for a special request. I know you guys are gonna want this hat because football season is here and you know what that means? Yeah. 
Parker was like, God, what's that, what's that, uh, what's that expression that people in the South use that means, oh, you're so lucky you're pretty, but you're not very smart. Bless their heart. Okay, bless his heart because he saw these hats sitting on the dresser and he's like, are the boys playing football now? And I'm like, what? Are they playing football? Are they gonna play football now too? And baseball? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? No. He's like, the hat? I'm like, this hat? He's like, yeah. I didn't clarify. I, I don't, I didn't have the heart, you know? He's like a big Louisiana football fan. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't have the heart to say what this really means. But if you know, you know, and I'm accepting friend applications if you found this amusing. <laughs> so anyway, we are heading out the door, but oh, oh, I remember the point of this check-in was tell me what your hyperfixation outfit is of the day. Cause like, you know, we have hyperfixation snack, we have hyperfixation meal, we have hyperfixation song. Uh, that's like the only way to function when you are like us. And then you listen to it forever until you get sick of it and then you hate it. Like it was never a part of your life. So right now my hyperfixation outfit is, excuse me, <laughs> look at this. You look like you love me. Yep, uh-huh, I got the green. How beautiful is this green? I ordered royal blue for Daniel's team, not the one we're going to today. Today he's in the World Baseball Classic. This is just like a one-off, but his regular team, we got royal blue, and then I got a charcoal gray for Macaroni's team. So, yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm, nice and cute. Nice and cute. The last thing I'm gonna say before we head out the road, cause we're already late and uh, this is not a good idea. However, I met one of you guys at our therapy, weekly therapy. I think it's Wednesdays, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Brenda, so if you're watching this, I wanted to say hi. And I'm sorry that it's like super awkward every time I see you, but it's like, it feels a little inappropriate. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, do you wanna talk about life? It's like this little place, it's like a, kids therapy workshop place, but they do like extensive varieties of therapy. So you can't ever even closely remotely assume why anybody's there because they go from like speech therapy to uh, executive functioning skills, like socializing skills. I mean, it's it runs the gamut. So I met one of you guys there, Brenda, with her three little boys. The reason that I wanted to give her a special hello was because Next time I see you guys, I really hope that we are all matching shoes. The shoes that I'm wearing today, they come in like this size. I almost freaked out and said, can I take a picture of your little boy's shoes? Because they were so cute. Like the shoes that I'm wearing, I think they're pretty. But when you see them on a child that's like maybe three. Oh wait, don't her dad, their mom was the dad. Yeah, yeah, when you went in, she was like, are you Danny? And I was like, oh my God, I hope. I hope I don't stink or like embarrass myself. So I see her now, I think it's every Tuesday or what? I can't remember if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I wanna say Wednesday. No, Tuesdays, it's Tuesdays. But let me show you. So the Nike Court, I think they're called? Legacy something. Legacy Court. Oh gosh, do you guys, like let's just not talk about this. Let's do this side over here. These are the Nike Legacy Court. They are one of the sustainable styles that Nike came out with but they have them in kid sizes and they look so cute, except they don't have laces. They have like the little strap over the top and mine has like sneaker jewelry cause I'm obnoxious. I'll have to see if they're wearing them next week and I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys cause they are adorable. <sighs> Things can only be classified as adorable if they make your aggressive voice come out. Let's be honest. Have you guys seen that video real meme? What I, I don't know what it was called anymore. Real or TikTok, that is the Hello, if you see this video, someone has sent me to give you a huggy break or something like that. That's literally Daniel every day of his life. So I'm very excited to go see him and share in this experience. I am very morally conflicted because we are representing Team Asia and the first team we are playing is Team Mexico. And I'm conflicted because I'm well, Mexican, but I'm also conflicted because my kids are halfies, you know, like they're Mexican too. So he doesn't lose or win that game. So in my eyes, he is, a, that is, see, so you can use your neuro spicy for happiness. He's like, so what did you say? You don't win or lose? Yeah. You, you win no matter what you win because he's on both teams in our hearts. Okay. We really got to go.
2 o'clock, we took Sunday off. Let's call it what it is. We needed to take Sunday off. This weekend was bullshit. I'm just gonna put that out there. This is the vlog. This is informal. This is casual. This is how we talk to each other. It was awful. So, little man had his tournament, World Baseball Classic, whatever. You know, I find it, I'm not competitive. I wanna put that out there, like I am not competitive. There's not a shred of competition in me. And I think one thing that I would recommend in my older age, if you are not a competitive person, it's probably important to play a game with newer friends and find out if they're competitive because I think that is something that could make you extremely compatible or extremely incompatible. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like being surrounded by people that are competitive because it's not important to me. So I don't feed that fire, but it does bother me. <laughs> and I think there is something to be said about me in terms of fairness. I don't know if it's a neuro thing or if it's an empath thing, or maybe it's a Sagittarius thing. There has to be a reason because the passion that I feel of being fair, maybe it's a, I got picked on when I was little, so I wanna be super fair. It, it is very triggering. And so during this tournament, according to Co-Parent, the registration deadline was earlier in the year, during the springtime. So a lot of kids hadn't turned, hadn't had their birthdays. And there wasn't a huge interest in the Asian community in this tournament. So they had to basically make do with how little players they had to represent Team Asia. I get all of that and I am a very understanding person. However, as understanding as I am, even I know, and I'm not a baseball connoisseur, I don't know the rules, I don't know the vernacular, I'm not a baseball commissioner, but even I know that putting eight, nine, and 10 year olds to play against 12 year old Latinos, <laughs> I'm specifically saying that for a reason, because y'all know how that community plays baseball. They are born with a ball in their hands, okay? And so that's not fair. Like that, I don't care how you paint it. I don't care how you word it. I don't care. I get it, you know, like the Asian community is probably not like super hyper into sports because they're doing like other things that help them with their college applications. Again, I'm saying that because I married into it and then didn't. <laughs> I don't think it's fair, listen. If there aren't enough kids to play in this bracket, then like make the bracket smaller or do some kind of accommodations or give them an automatic out or something. But it is not fair to put these tiny little boys against these really big kids that you know at the last carne asada, they beat up that piñata with two swings and that was it. None of the other kids could play. So I'm, still, I'm obviously still a little salty about it. And I'm not coming from a place of competition. So that's, I think that's what bothers me the most is that I'm not a com competitive person. I'm a fair person and that didn't feel fair. So we had four games, two on Saturday, two on Sunday. We lost all of them and that's fine. We have played many a tournaments where we lose. But the way that we lost and the fact that they made them keep playing for the 90 minutes, in 105 degree weather with kids that were like twice as big as that, that just, to me, that doesn't build character. That does probably more harm than good. Am I overreacting? Like, am I being a mama bear? So that's why I had to take a break. Like I, I needed Sunday to just hang out with my boys to prepare them for what I'm about to tell you and just, just be mom and just forget, forget yesterday and Saturday and Friday and just, just be happy. So today is Monday, it is two o'clock, and in about one hour, I have to go pick up Daniel from his first day of school. Do you know what that means? I got my house back. I got my house back for the first day in like three months. So Mateo asked me yesterday, he's like, 
oh my god, like, uh, back to school, it's the worst, I don't want to go. And I was like, I am so excited that you guys go back to school tomorrow. And of course, because he's like me, extremely sensitive, he's like, oh, are you trying to get rid of us? You don't want us here. Do you not love us? That, that's just him, like, le echa crema sus tacos. You know what I mean? Like, he's just, he's just adding that extra layer for, for drama. And I was like, no, baby, I am absolutely gonna miss you. I'm not trying to get rid of you, but I don't know how to make you guys understand, like, this is my office. You know, this is my workplace. I eat, sleep, poop, shower, get ready in my job, in my place of employment, whether it's house manager or marketing, like social media marketing, I don't leave my job ever. And so it's already a very stressful situation just to stay motivated, just to stay um, on task because there's always something that needs to be done. Like right now I'm like, I gotta turn on the oven cause I gotta put the chicken in the oven. There's dishes in the sink. Like we have to go to therapy this afternoon. So it's already very stressful to just keep myself on task. And then for three months, you throw two little lives in the mix that are bored, that are hungry, that want a snack, that have baseball, that have a camp, that have art. It's like you're already having a rainstorm and you throw a tornado in the mix just for fun. You know, <laughs> like, it's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't miss you. It's that I want my prison back. <laughs> I wanna be happy alone in this house, not hearing mom or fighting, or stop it, or did you lick him, or I'm bored, I'm hungry. Do your kids eat like 65% more food during the summer? I asked my kids this summer, I'm like, do you die when you're in school? Because you don't eat this much during the school year. I pack your lunch, you come home, and you leave. We have this rule where I tell them, if you don't finish your lunch, that's okay, but do not throw away your food. We don't throw away food. If you don't finish your strawberries, that's fine. Bring them home, we'll eat them as a snack later or whatever, but don't waste food. So they already have that rule. And when they come from home from school, they have leftovers. So then how come during the summer, they're eating like three times as much food? It's mind boggling, baffling, and a little bit of a hard concept to absorb or understand, you know? So anyway, they're back to school. We did the cheesy, I don't wanna, I would insert them, but I feel like they're at that age now where maybe if there was ever an opportunity or a chance that their friends find these videos, they might tease them about it. So now I'll just make fun of them with our close relatives. But I made them hold up these cheesy little posters, like first day of fourth, first day of seventh. How do I have a seventh grader? How did God trust me with two living lives? That was supposed to sound stupid. How did God trust me with two living lives? Like, I understand why he gave me four dogs. He was like, whoa, you need a lot of trauma healing. These dogs are gonna be your emotional support animals. They did their job, let me tell you. Sophia, she's still billing me. Like I am way out of network with her and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm her number one patient. But, but human lives, like God gave me two human lives, one in seventh and one in fourth. It's a lot of responsibility, you guys. Thank God that I'm like, I'm feeling very optimistic. I mean, cautiously optimistic, but I'm feeling optimistic that even though I tried as much as I could to stay in a routine, like the only part of my routine that never changed was my AG1 in the morning. But other than that, it was like Black Friday every day. <laughs> it's like a Black Friday sale every day. And so now that they're back in school, I'm like, yeah, I think I can, I think I can finally appreciate how much alone time I get and actually show something for it. Do you, do you believe me what I'm saying? Do you understand? Do you want to be a part of this? Com you want to be a part of this conversation? Okay. She ran over here when she heard me talking about how she's my emotional support dog that is out of network. And um, I make an appointment with her every day. Sometimes she cancels on me last minute because she doesn't like like my cuteness aggression. Like it's a lot for her. She's a little bit of a, she's a little bit of a cat is how I would describe her. She has a very small gauge for affection, but it, I miss Bumpy. <laughs> 
She has a she has a like a full tank. It's a really small tank, so I can't really get my <clears throat> out uh, of like all the loving that I need to. I say I give, but I really think I'm receiving it. There was something else that I wanted to tell you guys, and it had everything to do with back to school and the boys. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I do know is this, 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 oh, this is important. On Saturday, we had, we, Mateo and I had four hours to kill in between the two games. And we were an hour and 20 minutes away from home. So naturally, I said, hey, Mac, can you look for an Ulta nearby? And we went to Target, we went to Ulta, and we went to Five Below, and we ran out of time, actually. So it was uh, fun, but it was also stressful because it was tax-free weekend, and, like, it's just tax. No amount of tax savings is worth the stress, the traffic, the lines. Oh, my goodness. I'm really glad we found an Ulta though because I was able to do a little haul action and I filmed the video for you guys. It will be up very soon. If we had a, let's keep track of how many perfumes Danny has or how much fragrance she feels the need to buy all the time. Like what am I trying to hide? You know, I'm starting to wonder, like, this much perfume has to mean, so am I trying to hide something? Am I playing the avoidant game? So, something's, something's going on here because don't nobody like perfume as much as I do? Yeah, yeah, we do. It's one of those things that just makes you happy. But I, I, I am, I'm starting to get a little frustrated because I was like, I was going to tell you guys something. Or maybe not. Maybe I just am being a space cadet. Maybe I'm tired. Maybe it's because I know I only have an hour left of freedom that I'm like mildly panicking a little bit. I did want to tell you guys that I have been using this regularly. The Pacifica Big Waves Soft Hold Volume Spray. I won't say it's big on volume. And I won't say that it's a soft hold unless you brush it because it does, it comes out like it's coming in half, you know what I'm saying? It comes out a lot, so you gotta be really far away, and then you do gotta brush it or play with it a little bit, or it will give you a little crunch if you're too close. But you smell phenomenal for the rest of the day. The other thing is the new dry shampoo from i &H. Why don't other companies do this? So not only does it not have the psh, which for me, I have fine hair, I'm bald, like I don't need that much in my hair. This has a little, a little sponge. So you guys remember what I was doing is I was putting on dry shampoo and then I was taking a kabuki brush or a dense brush and then I was brushing it in. I don't have to do that anymore because it has a little sponge. It is so good. Like right now I did that big chunk, but just pretend I didn't do that. You put it on, but as you put it on, you kind of apply it and buff it out wherever you want it. I'm a fan. I am a fan. I'm not a fan of what's happening right now. Holy mackerel. So naturally, because you guys are my best friends, I wanted to share those little updates with you guys some products you need, look out for a haul video, celebrate with me if your kids have gone back to school, if they're about to go back to school, or if you work from home and you can relate to how hard it is to stay motivated. Oh, you guys, don't leave your agent one on the counter. That is not a good idea. Always put it in, a, in the fridge, like it has to stay fresh. If you guys want all the magic, you gotta treat it with magic. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that is it for this weekend vlog. Thank you guys for always allowing me to share my heart with you and that's it. Anyway, I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. You are so nosy. You wanna say bye? You do. Oh my goodness, come here. Okay. But if I let you say bye, you gotta be nice, okay? Don't make a face. Like, make a nice face. Like, give him a little kiss or something. No, okay. How about, like, eye contact? Just, maybe just like a little, maybe something cute? Like, no, no, this is not cute. You're trying to show them my double chin. You see what I mean? Like, <sighs> but we love her.
She keeps it real. Everybody needs a friend that keeps it real. Let Sophia be that friend for you. 